Good morning, Valley Christian. I'm Abby Leffler, and you're watching VCTV. Good morning, Valley Christian. I'm Kevin Zlatt, and here are your morning announcements. Seniors, you have off-campus lunch this Friday. United Christian Club, you guys have a meeting today at lunch in room B19. There will be free pizza. Juniors, NHS members, make sure you turn in your slips to SNOO by Friday. Broadway showcase auditions take place in November for specialty numbers, pit orchestra, stage crew. If you are interested, go to the office to pick up an info sheet. City of Cerritos has given us info about bus passes. Go to the high school office for more info. Tennis, you're out at 1.30, and volleyball, you're out at 1.45. That is all. As we move up each year in high school, you will notice that each year your attitude about school will change. For instance, when you were a freshman, or maybe you are now, you are not worrying about college. And seniors may not be aware of how close college actually is around second semester. But when sophomore year or junior year comes around, you may start to realize how important SAT grades and that your GPA matters. Through all these different grades, we interviewed what teachers and students think about the grade transitions throughout high school. Um, what's the difference between teaching your sophomores and juniors? The sophomores are a lot of fun. Um, they still enjoy um, things and they're maybe some a little easier to kid around with. Uh, but the juniors are just starting to think about um, taking life a little bit more seriously as they really start thinking about college and that, you know, what you do in your junior year matters. And so we really try to help prepare them and they're willing to listen at that point when we talk about college being an important thing to um, figure out. So Mrs. Verhoeven, which between your freshmen and sophomores, what, who is easier to teach? Sophomores? have a little more um, maturity in the classroom maybe not to say that freshmen can't be mature because I have plenty of mature freshmen too but for the most part I would say the sophomores kind of are starting to figure out who they are a little bit and don't feel the need quite so much to perform for their peers I did teach seniors and I enjoyed them, but it just became really difficult as that senioritis thing kind of checked in. Hey, look, I got a text. Um, but Snoo and Winners and Mrs. Pluger and Mrs. Lee, uh, they all in enjoy the seniors and don't mind uh, lighting some fires a little bit more than, than I did. I would say the older, like some of my juniors, they start to lose motivation a little quicker than my younger students do. And why would you say the juniors lose motivation? Um, well, for the ones that I have, a lot of them come into class just saying they have senioritis already <laughs> at the junior year. So I think part of it is just they're starting to feel like, let's move on from this high school thing already. How has the transition been from eighth grade to ninth grade? Um, the transition was a lot different because like, um, in eighth grade, we were like the oldest, and now we're the youngest, and um, there's a lot more people. But I mean, I like it because it's like a different atmosphere. I was like really freaking out, and I was nervous <laughs> in uh, yeah. the summer, but like it wasn't as bad as I was expecting it yeah. to be. Do you think your friends have changed throughout the years in high school? Yeah, it's because more of us are focused on we got sports and we got homework to deal with because now it's like more serious. Yeah, my friends, Jai. <laughs> Over there, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we we do really hard work. I don't know. We just like tell the question for each other. Uh, yeah, I think they've matured more. So, and I have too. Um, since I've been here for the last four years, my friend group friend group has changed uh, drastically. Um, overall, like junior year, senior year, that's why I realized like who actually cared for me and like who was there for me during like hard times and like that's why I'm here with these people today but yeah it's changed a lot. I made a lot of new friends like upperclassmen and stuff and but like for like my immediate friend group it stayed the same as last year. We had a few people join like our friend group and then there's been like 
like little transitions, but not much. But like I've met a lot more upperclassmen because I'm yeah. in handbells. So like then that's like my group. How has the homework been since freshman year and until right now? So um, I'm not at here that freshman year, but I transformed here like junior, and uh, my first time was like really confused for the homework because like I have a language barrier, like I can't understand what they're reading for. Homework wise, I feel like sophomore year you definitely don't have as much homework as freshman year, in my opinion, or maybe because I'm just doing it now. I don't know, but I think it's easier. Uh, last year was pretty rough. There was a whole bunch of stuff going on, and I did not enjoy it. Senior year, like my load is easier since I'm not taking as many classes. But yeah, I've been chilling so far. Freshman year was a lot easier than this year. Well, I'm taking harder classes like AP World and stuff like that, so it's a lot more homework. So yeah. Is it different from eighth grade? Um, it's like more work it's not necessarily harder but you kind of just need to like space out your time and like if you have sports and stuff it's like more difficult but I mean you have to like know how to like time yourself correctly my homework load has been like a little more but it's just like more time consuming has your motivation increased or decreased since freshman year it's for sure increased because you know like senior year is getting closer in college so I have to stay focused if I want to get into a good college. Freshman year I really wasn't trying as much as, it, as I am this year. Uh, I don't know. I just <laughs> matured a little bit more than I was last year. I think it will because like I feel like it's like a milestone so I want to like do my best and just like I feel like every year counts so freshman year can't just like blow it off you have to try your best. Um, for me freshman year I just did not care as much but like I cared enough in order to like manage. Right now like I'm actually like trying to put in work since I'm going to college soon and I need to get accepted and everything like that so I'm trying harder. Push me to be uh, better, better myself, better my grades and sports to get the scholarships that I want when I for college. So your motivation has increased throughout the years? Yes. I'm Abby Leffler. And I'm Kat Vaughn Hannell. And thanks for watching this episode of VCTV. I don't think I'm going to get you, Trent, but there's a pumpkin. Ah, uh, you're good. There's a pumpkin. That's really good focus. I like it.